Hello and welcome back to another Lemmy Lemon video. And today's video was suggested by T72M1, as in the tank. <laughs> so thanks for reminding me because stupid silly me, I was supposed to make a video like this eight months ago. <laughs> <coughs> but anyways, and what a better time to make a video like this because it's raining, the highway is blocked, and also it's a public holiday. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. Because if you'd like to suggest a video idea, then I'd be happy to reply. I take pretty much any suggestions, so make sure to comment down on this video if you'd like any suggestions in the future, and I'll make sure to queue it up. So in this video, I am going to be comparing the newest and best top tier polyvalve vehicles and comparing them neck to neck to see which one actually performs the best in combat. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. The Humvee is a 5 seat armored vehicle which is produced by the US Army. In Polybelt, this is one of the best vehicles you can get in my opinion. Most of the vehicle has thick metal armor which allows it to soak up multiple grenade or missile hits. I'm talking 5 grenades, 1 missile, maybe 3 grenades, 3 missiles before it starts smoking up. So it's very strong. There's one turret on top which is basically it's just the standard turret in Polybelt, the 50 caliber turret. The turret is slightly exposed, but it makes up with a 360 degree swivel, allowing you to shoot any target from around the vehicle. And uh, do note that there is metal plating in front of the turret where it's positioned, so you can't get shot from the front. But do beware, you can be shot over the turret or on top. Acceleration is a bit slow due to the amount of weight on it. However, the top speed is around 55 miles per hour and has 800 hit points. The Winnebago has lots of armoring, just like the Humvee. I believe it's the most armored vehicle in Polyval that is not a tank. The only major difference with the Humvee is that the top turret is a bit more safe with a little roof on top to protect it from enemy bullets. I think it's pretty cute. This is slightly decreases the field of view for the turret. Otherwise, the turret is still prone to missiles and other large arms fire. The top speed is a bit slower at 50 miles per hour, and the acceleration is a bit lower than the Humvee. When the Vegas map was released, the party bus was introduced. This vehicle is not what you expect it to be. It can be taken out by a single grenade if you can hit it in the right place. There are multiple smaller M2 turrets on the front left and right of the bus on top, and it can also hold up to 8 players inside, but since it's so vulnerable to enemy fire, I would highly recommend avoiding this vehicle in combat. Probably the least effective vehicle in Polybell, in my opinion. But on the other side, it can act as a meat shield or it can simply create cover fire for a moment to distract the enemy. The speed clocks in at 35 miles per hour and accelerates at a fine rate. Land Rovers are your best friend in Polybell, especially small closed off maps that might have tight corners and spaces where tanks cannot fit and players can barely get by. As you might notice, the Land Rover is only a handful of vehicles in Polybell that have a right hand steering wheel. I like it because it feels like normal since my country drives on the left. The Land Rover is very exposed but actually can take a few hits. It is also very easy to defend as there are two M2 Browning turrets, one for the left hand seat and one on top. There are multiple seats in the back which gives practically a 360 cover from the vehicle. Do be warned however because it is very easy to pick off players in this vehicle. You can carry up to 7 players. Top speed is 75 miles per hour and accelerates very quickly. The motorcycle is a new addition to Polybell. It actually broke the speed record on land of 88 miles per hour, which was previously held by the jet ski, and before that, the quad bike of 80 miles per hour. So 8 miles per hour more. The bike is very quirky because the second seat forces the player to stand facing backwards, but honestly, I think it's pretty funny how they did that. The bike is everything you could ask for. It is exactly like the quad bike, but much better. There is a tendency for the bike to tilt over, so don't take them corners too fast and you should be sweet. Just before I reveal the final vehicle, make sure to like the video if you haven't done yet and you enjoy it, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done yet so, and you enjoy this video. Trust me, you're not going to regret it. Tell them, Tank. Like and subscribe immediately or I'll come knock on your door at 3 in the morning. We do a little bit of trolling. <laughs>
Finally, the last vehicle I'm going to be covering today will be the Praga V3S truck. It is great at providing cover as its armoring can soak up grenades and tank shells. Also, you can block certain pathways due to the vehicle's enormous length of 22 feet and 2 thirds of an inch, or 34.5 studs. There is a rear facing 50 caliber turret and there is an M270 turret at the front. Just like the Land Rover, you can fit 7 players inside. Top speed is 75 miles per hour and it actually has amazing acceleration. It's amazing. Amazing acceleration. Now I know I haven't covered all the vehicles on Polybow in this video, but here are some honorable mentions I should definitely include in a future video. The Missile Truck. Missile Truck 2.0 that can shoot down helicopters. Rocket Launcher Jeep. And of course, the couch. Alright, so those were some of the vehicles I did in my part 2. Obviously, I haven't covered every single vehicle, and if there's something I missed out, just please make sure to let me know. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching the video, as subscribers and views have been coming a bit slow lately, but I'm sure they'll pick up later. Anyways, in my next upload, I will be doing bad business. I'm not going to be doing bad business, I'm going to be playing bad business, which is an FPS game, I believe, and you'll find out on Tuesday at 6pm or whatever time it is when I upload. Okay, see ya.